Welcome, everybody. I'm Barbara Rogers. I'm the president-elect for NANP of 2020, and I'm thrilled to be here today for this recording with Sheila Morthy and also Dr. Edwin Bo Ed Bowman. I apologize for that. Um, we just have a great workshop, and NANP actually offers two workshops, um, pre-conference workshops, that we hope you'll consider if you're looking to come to our conference. And this is one very important one and a very important topic. Uh, Sheila has her Master's of Business Administration from the University of Mumbai, and we're excited to have her. And then she got her Nutrition Consultant Certificate from Bowman College and is now working with Dr. Bowman. And they just came out with a very important book that this workshop will be based on called Spice for Life, Recipes, Remedies, and Research. And Dr. Bowman, of course, is the founder and president of Bowman College. And uh, many of you may not know that uh, Dr. Bowman also helped start the organization that later became NENP. So we're, of course, thrilled to have both of you here. And Sheila and Dr. Bowman, what we wanted to do today is just give everybody just a very quick background on what your workshop sure. is going to be about so they can consider it. And Sheila, let's start with you. Can you give us some background of what this workshop is, is all about? Sure. So thank you, Barbara. Uh, for reaching out to us on this very important workshop and, and, and the work has been so instrumental for a lot of reasons and so we are eager to share this information. So a couple of years back, Dr. Bowman and I sort of got together on this journey of looking at the various spices and then we decided on, you know, a, a list of 10 spices that we would, and then what we found was we were blown away by all the data that we were finding, and this is all new and improved data on the healing power of spices. And spices, especially if you use them either by themselves or in combination with other spices, had better health outcomes. And even if they were used concomitantly with conventional meds, you have the, uh, the disease data for sure, better health outcomes. So we were blown away by this research. And the reason it took this long was because Dr. Bowman kept pushing me, okay, you've got to get, show me the money, show me evidence-based. So for those who are considering, you know, on the fund, whether I should join or not, folks, this is it. This is the only type of research you're gonna get because this is updated. And we've got like data about all this wonderful research on these spices so we have six super spices that we are focusing on for this workshop and that's turmeric holy basil uh that's uh, and sweet basil and ashwagandha cinnamon ginger and saffron did i get all six yes so so it's wonderful so it's going to be like a hands-on workshop and we want to share recipes ideas whether you are a introductory cook or you're, you're an you know, expert cook, you can benefit from it. But more importantly, get to use this information in your daily life. And you know, you can change your whole life. And you know, I have been amazed by the data and the data today is very different. This, and so we're gonna be uh, showing you the evidence-based uh, medicine as Dr. Bowman pushed me to get, that's why I took this song. But we will also have uh, workshops about like how to cook and we'll have the teas, sauces, so that people can enjoy and understand a little bit more about this wonderful, wonderful herbs and spices category. So thank you, Barbara, for reaching out. Of course, and it sounds so exciting. I'm so intrigued by this topic because as you know, a lot of our attendees at this conference have a considerable amount of knowledge about uh, the field of holistic nutrition, including herbs. But what is really unique about what you're doing is talking about the research with the synergistic qualities of all of these yeah. spices, which I yes. think is really going to be interesting for a lot of our attendees. Uh, Dr. Bowman, can you tell us exactly, uh, Sheila laid this out very well, but also what you think the main takeaways are going to be from, the, from your book as well as the workshop? Yeah. Uh, hi, Barbara. Hi, everyone out there. It's good to be back to NANP. I, I uh, remember our first conference in 2005 we did in the Marin Headlands, and that was the start of this whole series of continuing education and collaboration and networking. So it's, I'm so proud of NANP. 
And, you know, I've been in the field now 50 years. When I was a young guy, I was in my early 20s studying with people who were in their 70s. And they would talk about the knowledge they gained through their teachers from the early days of natural health and healing. And then the pharmaceutical revolution took over, oh boy, and pushed a lot of this away. So with my kind of senior status now, I'm speaking about 100 years worth of good data and good knowledge. And as Sheila said, uh, in other parts of the world, herbs and spices are used as primary healing agents. And so th there's really basis for that. Another thing is expense. Supplements and, and other kinds of services are costly. So many people I work with and I teach go, is there a way I could maybe take less product? And again, I, I think product is terrific, but it's really about proactive people who I call prosumers. People who want to get involved, who want to learn and want to grow and, and want to bring this home. So I, I think the, the decade ahead where we have viruses and we have immune problems and we have toxicity, you know, and, and collapsing bodies and collapsing systems can be fortified, strengthened, and, and really managed through a lot of diet, nutrition, lifestyle, and adding these spices. Spices are potent. And we're going to share this in a full day workshop. So it's not just, well, we're on for an hour and here it is and have a nice day, but we'll be learning together. And we'll talk about the interactions, the backgrounds, the applications, how to use it as a pill, as a tincture, as a powder, in cooking. So all forms of application of spices. And we'll go into some casework. If people go, I've got a client with serious depression. What do we do? What's the spice for depression? And it's not a single magic bullet. We all know that. But it, it's really fun and practical and useful and teachable. So people who come to our workshop will get a full days of learning together and thinking together and collaboration. And we're going to sample some of our recipes and remedies that we love. And we're going to work through this together. And it'll really come back to food as medicine, which we all talk about. But at many of our meetings, it just kind of flies by, right? Yeah. So I think this is really basic. I think it's core, but it's advanced. I mean, it's really so exciting because this is real. You know, these, these plants come from the earth. And people don't use saffron. Saffron's a tremendous plant. People don't combine ashwagandha with turmeric. You know, people have their knowledge of certain things and, and the companies make certain formulations, but we're talking about making soup, making stew, making broths. You know, broth is powerful. Bone broth is like really the bomb right now. But why not add spices to the bone broth or to the veggie broth or to the sauce or the salad dressing and then pass that to our clients and our students and our families and do more cooking demos? because that's the greatest learning model there is, is hi friends, we're gonna to cook together, we're gonna to sample, we're gonna taste, we're gonna provide recipes and remedies, and then I'll see you next week and we'll do it again. And this can be done in a doctor's office. So again, we're very complimentary. This is not oppositional at all. This is totally integrative, and it's totally integrative with pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, and all that, if it's done with sensibility. Because one, you know, can overdo anything, including plants. But it's going to be an amazing get together, and I hope a lot of people will will come because we'll we'll provide great materials. We'll also have our book available at the meeting, and and we'll be we'll be learning together. So I like being with people in the room, sharing wisdom, guidance, energy, love, food together. That's wonderful. I mean, you both are such a wealth of knowledge and it's so exciting to me that you're willing to share this in such a, a intimate setting, a one-on-one -on -one, yeah. uh, with your, with your uh, attendees. And it's just going to be a great workshop and I can't, I can't wait to uh, hear more about it. And I appreciate so much both of you taking the time today and we will look forward to seeing you in California in just a few short weeks. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye everyone.